Hey guys, it's Soda Girl. This is a corset update for you guys. I have wanted to do another comparison video in a while. I have um, a number of different corsets since my last comparison video. If you haven't had a chance to check out that video, I'll link it in the low bar for you guys. I have a total of 11 corsets. I have purchased um, 12. Um, I did three giveaways, so 15 um, from Orchard Corsets. All right, and so I'm going to go over um, five different ones um, for you guys today. Um, off the bat, I have been corset training for just over a year. I started off at a 31 and a half inch waist, and through corset training, a uh, combination of exercise and diet, I was able to get my waist down to 24 inches outside the corset. This corset that I have on now is the 301. It's in satin. I have it in three and two other uh, prints. I have it in the newsprint for gold as well as white and black. Um, and this one's a 20 inch and this one is a 22 inch. I normally wear a 22 inch. I only got the 20 inch because it was a clearance when I really, really wanted it. Um, but the 301 is one of the shorter corsets that measures 8 inches in the front, 8 inches in the back, and 7 inches along the side. It does have 12 um, steel bones in it. And um, again, it's one of the shorter corsets. It's um, one of my favorite ones because it's so short. Um, and so, yeah, and this is pretty much what it looks like. I don't have it completely closed in the back. Um, and so, yeah. All right. Um, I find that this one can tend to look a little awkward depending on what you wear it with. And so, um, that's pretty much how this one is. I find it that it looks better with ruffles. I find all corsets look better with ruffles and prints. And so, this one, I just love the way it looks when you wear a printed top and a um, solid bottom. This is a regular pencil skirt. It goes up to about right here and the blouse probably meets it just about right there. And so, um, and so yeah. Okay guys, this is the CS201. It measures 9.75 inches in the front, 8.5 inches in the back, and 7 inches along the side. It is the next corset um, based on size. Um, it is the one that's the next after the 301. I only have one 201. This one I got on clearance for, I want to say, $32, $33. Um, literally, that's one thing I do like about Archer Courses. They always have corsets on clearance. And literally, with the promo code, you can get some really, really awesome deals. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite corsets. I just absolutely love the cherries. And um, I want to try to put together different looks with each corset to give you guys more ideas of ways to wear your corsets. Um, corsets don't have to always be worn, worn under the clothes. Again, it depends on your comfortability and um, your, your confidence, really. Um, it took me a while to get to the point where I can just just go out wearing a corset. Um, again, I'm going to get questions. I'm going to get looks. And so um, I'm always just ready for that. This is the CS411. Definitely one of my favorite corsets by far. Um, and I also have it in uh, black satin as well as the black pinstripe, which is one of my favorites. I absolutely love the pinstripe. I relaced it in blue laces, which um, the laces will definitely help um, make it easier to lace. Like literally, these laces just glide through the grommets so much easier. Okay, this corset measures 10 inches in the front, 10 and a half in the back, and eight and a half along the side. Now, basically, the difference between this one um, and the 305 is basically an inch along the side, and um, the 411 curves like that, the top, all right? Um, with the 305, it just goes straight across the top. So that's basically the difference. But this one is one of my favorite corsets, the brocade, just the flowers. And um, this is one you can dress up or dress down. I've worn this one with um, in between leggings, t-shirts. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then this is what the side looks like. And then the back. Again, I'm not lacing. All. I'm not lacing these clothes because it's, it's just too much to lace them all the way closed right now. Um, and so, yeah. So, this is a CS305. It measures 10 inches in the front, um, 10 and a half inches in the back, and 9 and a half inches along the side. I have this one in two colors. I have it in the black satin as well as the wine color. It's like a red, and it's so pretty. This one's like a gorgeous, gorgeous corset. Um, I absolutely love the color. Um, this one looks like this in the front, along the side, and in the back, 
and then the other side okay so that's basically with this one. CS so yes, uh, 345 one of the longer corsets um, along with the 426 uh, now again the 426 is my first corset um, and off the back it turned out to be too long for my torso I do have a 10 inch torso um, this is a 345 which is just a little shorter than the 426 and this one measures 13 inches in the front 13 inches in the back and then 10 inches along the side and so um, I absolutely think this is such a gorgeous color um, and so yeah and I, I knew when I purchased it it, it was going to be too long for my torso but I went ahead and got it anyways um, this one I got for I wanted to say it was like a it was around Thanksgiving Black Friday um, sale when I got it for like I think 40 bucks and so um, so yeah but again if you put together different looks with your corsets you can make it look really really nice um, and that's the thing I love most about corset training it's about putting together different looks you can either dress them up or dress them down it just all depends on how you feel um, you know where you're going what the weather outside is like I mean literally I've worn my corset with some little shorts and like a t-shirt um, that's the thing I like about corsets, knowing that um, you can kind of do what you want with it. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, but this is basically uh, to give you an idea of different looks you can put together with your corsets. Give you an idea of all the corsets that I have. Um, the only one I did not try on for you guys is the CS331. And this one is one of my least favorite corsets because it is an over-the-head crawl-into corset, have you, um, that you pretty much have to lax out all the string and then put it over your head and hope there's enough lace because I've noticed that with orchard corsets some of their corsets come with uh, you know long strings and some don't and for those that come with strings that are a little shorter you either have to purchase new laces or you know what I'm saying because it's kind of hard to squeeze into a corset if you've laced it and I, I know I've gotten a few um, questions from a lot of you guys who've gotten corsets where um, you've laced it, you've completely laxed it in the back and you still can't seem to latch it in the front and that's just probably because your cor your strings are maybe a little too short but with this corset, again this is the CS331 it um, it measures 9 inches in the front um, 10 inches in the back and 8.75 inches along the side um, again it's one of my least favorite corsets I have not even dared try it on since I got my boob job and literally I had a, to fight with it to put it on before them and so um, with that said I probably won't try to put it on I know someone suggested relacing it which I just don't really feel like doing um, and so yeah and I actually liked this corset when I first got it I mean I was like this is really cool it's something that's really really different and so um, and I at the time that I purchased this one I didn't see a lot of reviews on it so I didn't know that it was an over the head type of corset so if you're like top heavy then it's just going to be almost impossible for you to get it over your head and down past your boobs to put it where it needs to be because you have to completely lax all the string out. Um, other than that, you guys, I think that's basically all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. I've been getting a lot of feedback from um, a lot of you guys as far as corset training is concerned. Um, so I'll leave it there. As always, you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.